using three distinct pathways. Acetyl-CoA is the common precursor for ketone body, fatty acid, and cholesterol biosynthesis. Ketone body biosynthesis takes place in the mitochondria and the rate limiting enzyme is HMG-CoA synthase. Fatty acid synthesis takes place in the cytoplasm and the rate limiting enzyme is acetyl-CoA carboxylase. Cholesterol synthesis takes place in the cytoplasm and the rate limiting enzyme is HMG-CoA reductase. To provide a source of acetyl-CoA in the cytoplasm, citrate is transported to the cytoplasm where it is broken down to uh, acetyl-CoA by ATP citrate lyase. Thus providing the acetyl-CoA needed for both fatty acid and cholesterol biosynthesis. Glucose provides two important precursors needed for the synthesis of triacylglycerol. The first one is dihydroxyacetone phosphate which provides the glycerol phosphate backbone for the synthesis of triacylglycerol. The second one is pyruvate which provides the acetyl-CoA for the synthesis of fatty acids. Two fatty acyl CoAs are sequentially condensed with glycerophosphate to produce phosphatidic acid, which then is converted to diacylglycerol by a phosphatidic acid phosphatase. A third fatty acyl CoA is condensed with diacylglycerol to form triacylglycerol. Cholesterol biosynthesis occurs through a completely different pathway than fatty acid biosynthesis. It occurs in three stages, with the first stage being the most important one because it contains the rate-limiting enzyme HMG-CoA reductase. This enzyme is tightly regulated by hormones and intracellular levels of cholesterol. Isopentanyl pyrophosphate formed from mevalonic acid will be sequentially added until squalene is formed and then squalene is cyclized to form lanosterol and then cholesterol. It is noteworthy that acetyl-CoA needed for cholesterol biosynthesis is produced by hydrolysis of citrate by ATP citrate lyase in the cytoplasm.